welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Hope you're well on this Monday. We're in here for another week of news, reviews, tech, and all that sort of fun. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, big super shout out to all the amazing people over in podcast land. Whatever platform you're listening on, I think we're on about six or seven. Uh, massive milestone for me, and I was, I was pretty shocked. I just loaded it up to get ready to do the upload today for the Another Day, Another Vlog, which is Another Day, Another Pod over on podcast. Uh, and we're over a thousand listens, which is just insane to me. It's probably nothing to the big boys, but uh, to a little... Yeah, to a little fella like me, a little fish in a monstrous pond that it is in podcast land. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty amazing and I do muchly appreciate it. Thank you for listening. Um, I'm hoping if you're running or riding your bike or wherever you're listening to me, on the bus on the way home from school or wherever you are, do you really appreciate you and hopefully some of the info I'm throwing out to you actually is helping you make a decision or saving you some cash. So that's probably the most important one, saving a bit of money and making a good decision on a purchase. So fingers crossed I'm helping you out there. And I've got a, I think there's like six regulars that listen. And do you six? Bloody awesome. You're amazing. Thank you very much. So yeah, if you haven't heard the podcast, it's basically this show without my ugly head in it, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> What's that old saying? I've got a great head for radio. Um, yeah, I think I got told that many times when I actually did uh, a few shows for baseball on the radio in Darwin. So very, very cool. And yeah, again, much appreciated. And it put in a little bit of perspective there. Uh, Spotify, I think, had this week or over the weekend hit 350 million subscribers <laughs> to there. And that's a, just a massive big pod, uh, podcast platform. That's the one Joe Rogan's gone on, the biggest podcaster in the world. Uh, $100 million deal, and uh, he's over on that platform. So that's probably helped a fair bit to get to that and help him up. So my 1,000 views uh, to their 300 million, <laughs> we've got a little bit of a way to go, <laughs> but we'll get there. <laughs> Very cool. But, yeah, I think it was awesome. I was pretty chuffed, actually. I knew it was, we were getting close. It's like, oh, nearly 1,000. That's pretty cool. Um, and that all started from the road uh, road microphones, so me, like me video mic and me all my gear I use, Australian Microphone Company, they do a great job. Uh, every year they do an annual uh, podcasting competition, so you can get on, start your show, and they basically told me how to set it all up, and uh, it's, it's pretty easy to set up, and it's even easier to do if you don't like being in front of a camera, and you just want to, you can just get a microphone and plug it in, especially in our road, they've got the little USB-C ones or USB ones you can plug straight into your laptop and you can just talk about whatever you want to talk about. So that's great. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, I use Anchor and they split it out to about six different mobs. They, the, they were partners with Rode for the competition and it's super easy. So if you've got something you want to talk about um, and the best thing about podcasting, it's, it's personal. It's whatever it is for you that you want to say, you want to have your say, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. If no one listens to you, it's a good way to express yourself and to help you feel, get some confidence about saying what you feel. Sometimes keep it inside your brain. It's not a good thing. At least verbalizing it might help you either get over things or get through things or help you understand things. I, it helps me a little bit too. Sometimes I talk too much. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to say that. So thank you very much to everyone out there and to everyone that watches us on the channel. Uh, we've had a heap of subscribers in the last week. That's gone nuts too, so I don't know what I did. Something something must have done happened right. I had a heap of people over the weekend. We jumped up where we're getting close to 400. We did lose a few, so kind of bad luck. I'll take... Uh, I'll take anyone. <laughs> anyone that wants to pop by, I'm happy to have you as part of the subscription crew. And yeah, I do appreciate you. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. We, uh, we're over 300 now. So to me, again, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, from I knew how hard it was to get to 100. So anytime you get that, those each little milestones is a big thing to me. Uh, again, little fish, big pond. Uh, those little steps to someone else are big steps to us little people. So and I guess it's the same thing in life. Little 
little things to rich people and big people or big business people probably mean massive things to us little guys. So awesome. Much appreciate to everyone out there that is supporting the channel. And I've probably gone on too long about that, but I do appreciate you. It's quite cool. And so I've got to try and let you know that I do. I've got some love for you. <laughs> Okie doke, um, while we're on that, or the channel, um, if you haven't seen our Teespring store, so that's merch, so the shirt um, with the logo and everything, you can get stickers, whatever. Uh, probably a little bit easier for the guys in the States because you don't have as much shipping charges as uh, we got in Australia. That's the only, I am sort of looking down the track, I want to do something with my website this through Squarespace and, and try and do it that way. I, I am looking at it, I've, I've got some hats designed, I've got to work that out and I did talk to you about calendars, I want to try and maybe 21's the year we really attack the merch. But for the merch that is available, if you did want to get something, uh, I've just take, put a 10% sale on, uh, so you can go to the Teespring account, the link's down below. Uh, it's a Christmas sale, it's good till the end of November, you get 10% off uh, and just Tiger Christmas. So T-I-G-E-R-X-M-A-S. You'll see the link below anyway, and yeah, ten, another 10% 10 off if that's enough to help out. Maybe it's a little, I know the shipping is the tricky part, especially being in Australia, every time you, I want to order something, uh, it's always cheap. And then you go, oh, let's go check the shipping. Oh, the shipping costs twice as much as the item you want to buy. Ah, rightio. <laughs> I'll go buy the more expensive one here in Australia because I don't have to pay as much shipping. That's the only drama with internet shopping uh, that I've found is that the shipping crushes us. And now, thanks to our government being a little bit even more of a wankers than they normally are, they whacked even more. They dropped, got rid of our sort of excess. It used to be a thousand bucks, and you didn't have to pay any taxes. Uh, no, well they weren't making enough money, so we get smashed on everything now. So, yeah even harder for us to shop online. So I do appreciate that. So hopefully at 10%, at least maybe covers the GST. Fingers crossed. Go check that out. Obviously the biggest news on the planet is the US elections. Uh, it's uh, definitely out of control crazy, which has been the whole four years. If anyone thought the election was gonna be easy with Trump in, uh, you probably haven't breathed, you've probably been in a coma for four years Everything he does is controversy. It's out front. He's, that's what he does. Um, and this election's been obviously <laughs> the same thing. And he's he's still not going down with a fight. I, I still, as of this morning, I still don't think he's actually conceded. He still was saying, I think he got cut off a press conference yesterday or something when he was trying to announce that he'd still won. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it looks, looks like Biden, and I don't want to pronounce the name wrong, Camilla Harris, I believe it is. Uh, Joe Biden and Camilla Harris have won. So, look, that's huge news. It's a change. Uh, look, wherever you stand, whatever your standpoint is, the look, I've said it before and I've, I'll, I'll reiterate that. Whatever your thoughts of Trump and as a person, I think he's a dickhead. That's my personal opinion. But I will have one caveat on that. He did everything he said he was going to do. And that's what, the, and the people that voted voted for that. So, and if he got the votes, well, that's democracy. You can't, you can't whinge about what he's done because everything he's done, he said he was going to do it. So, and that, and how many times? And I have to give this to him again. Um, how many times do we get it? And Australia is just a, we're ten times worse. Our guys lie through their teeth and then do nothing but at least he did what he said he was going to do. And I will give him that, and that's kudos to him. Uh, would I want to talk to him? Would I even want to even be in the same room? No. But he did what he said he was going to do, so I do have to congratulate him on being at least honest in that regard. So whether it, whether it was good or bad, that all depends on where you stand. So, look, it's a, a big change. It, there's a lot of people happy about it. I know the Chinese are happy. Uh, oh, my big prediction, 2021, Huawei is going to come out hard this year. It's going to be a monster year for Huawei. They've got the tech, they've got the gear. They've uh, been crushed down by Trump with him shutting them down over the 5G. It's going to be really interesting to see how Biden approaches that 5G issue and the whole Huawei P30 
purchasing issue and whether they can sell stuff to the states. If that changes, that's going to be really interesting for the tech world, for phones, every aspect, because uh, they're a massive company, massive hundreds of billions of dollars. Uh, I could uh, definitely see this going to be a big change. They would be stoked about it. They didn't definitely didn't want to see Trump again because that was crushing their company. Uh, I think there's going to be some changes there that'll be interesting. Um, other than tech news, the only thing with Biden, um, and look, I don't know the bloke. Uh, I try to stay out of politics. I've got enough tr trouble trying to deal with uh, Labor and Liberal idiots we've got here. Uh, I don't like any of them. Uh, we haven't had a real leader for since probably Bob Hawke was the last decent person that was worth voting for. Um, but he's 80 years old. Uh, that's pretty old. Uh, most people are pretty much retired. Like, that's well past retirement age. Health, that's a, and a lot of pressure to put on someone. 80, physically, mental stress. Uh, look, I hope he's got it in it, but I think it's good that he's got someone young and fit. I think you're going to see Camilla Harris take an take a absolute massive part of this four years, and I think it's going to be basically a grooming period for her and I think you'll see that he probably may even step down after four years and then slot her in. Or I don't know if they can step down and even if he gets re-elected or whatever, if they if they can step step down by choice and so that she gets in or whether he might train her up for four years, sort of like a tutorship. And basically, I think this is pretty much getting ready so the American people can see her, see what she can do, uh, give her a chance, a good little eye opener. And if she does the right things, I think you'll see her going for a president next time, in four years' time. So it's going to be really interesting, that uh, that combo. Um, as I said, like 80 years old, that's that's a tough wicket. Uh, 80 years old, I think I'll be hopefully sitting in a boat fishing, catching, trying to catch a barramundi. If I could still do that at 80, I'd be stoked, not run the, trying to run the world. So very, very interesting, that whole election part. So very cool. Okay, league specs. We know Apple, we've got the event this week on the 11th. Uh, for us, it's November the 11th, 5 a.m. Eastern State, so Sydney time. Uh, for us in Perth, it's 2 a.m. in the morning on next, uh, on sorry, Tuesday night here. So it's coming up not far away, or Wednesday morning, sorry. So be prepared for that one. Now, the leaked specs have come out for these new MacBooks. We've been told everyone's leaking out that this MacBook should be a 13-inch, should be a 16-inch MacBook Pro coming. Um, with the ARM chips. Now, the leaked specs for the A14X chip, which is the one which is basically a mobile device mobile device chip straight out of the a, a, uh, iPhone 12 with the X on the end, that basically denotes it as a laptop. Um, 1.8 gigahertz up to 3.2, 10 gigahertz. Uh, eight core, eight gigabytes, and single core thread and multi-core thread smashes every other MacBook, including the 16 inch, out of the water. Uh, single core thread scores was 1634, multi core was 7220 on Geekbench. So, massive, massive tech uh, leak on that one. Uh, the, if you haven't got a, if you've been waiting to hold off on them on these laptops, uh, the only really thing, I think the power and the performance and the specs, all those things, Apple's going to have right. The biggest issue is going to be how well that mobile platform architecture works with the current system. So I think it's G86 or S S86, the current platform. So that's what all uh, lap laptops and PCs, they use a one architecture. So you build a software and it all talks to each other. Now with this ARM, it's a different architecture. That's why you sort of iPads don't really converse. You've got different iPad apps than, than you have on a Mac. Uh, and vice versa so it just doesn't talk properly so what they basically have to do is have some sort of a translator software so that they can talk now that's going to be the biggest issue how fine-tuned that's going to be in the first generation is probably going to be the biggest thing I think technically hardware wise they're going to be absolutely off the charts and I think Apple knows that they're going to come out with us something that just blows people minds because the software may be the tricky part. So fingers crossed they've got it right. They're generally pretty good. They don't bring stuff out uh, until they're ready. But 
that is going to be the biggest issue, whether that software can talk to each other and talk to all the normal programs you've got on a computer and how it all reacts with each other or interacts with each other. So we'll find out this week uh, and then I'm sure the reviews will come through over the next two weeks. I'm sure it's going to be a couple of weeks worth of uh, info on those bad boys. So very exciting that. AirPod, AirPod Pro, the Pro headphones, apparently the heaps of dramas. The Apple's announced a basically uh, bring back an exchange and exchange program for them. Apparently they get some crackling noise in them. So if you if you've got those Pros, they're ex very expensive, best best headphones on the market. But apparently they got little dodginess in them, and you get some crackly noise, and it gets gets worse and worse, where well, you can take them back and exchange them, Apple should change them over. So that, that, was, that was announced, I'd seen a, a, a big clip on Canon Rumors last night. So if you've got them, make sure if they're playing up, go get them changed out. Canon, over on Canon Rumors, while we're there, uh, some patents out for an 80mm RF macro lens. Um, he's sort of saying that well, it's probably not going to be an 80 mil, and they're generally not. They're normally 100 mils or a 60. Um, and he seen thinks that this is basically Canon. They're just putting patents out there for every different size, obviously to cover himself, cover their asses for patents. So they've got it, so they can't sort of lose it for that technology. So I think that's he's probably accurate in that. I'd say the RF one when they do release a macro, which they do need for the lineup. Probably get that this year in 2021 or 2021 next year. I mean, uh, I'd say you're probably likely to get a uh, 100 mil 2.8 L series one or something like that. So I'm sure it won't be too far away, but it was pretty interesting to just see the patent and see the makeup of it. So again, looks pretty cool. You can get all the specs over in Canon Rumors. Go check that out. Now, moment we've seen about all the uh, moment they make uh, the lenses. They also make the cases. Uh, Peak Design had that big case reveal and Kickstarter program they've got going on for all the new cases for the iPhone 12 and the MagSafe. Well, Moments come out and got the same sort of thing. Now, a lot of this, you don't need to have a case. So they basically work with MagSafe. You can get a little stand to fit on the tripod. You can get a, a little vent that magnets on the back. Um, what else was there? There was tripod mounts, cold shoe mounts, light mounts. All sorts of little fun trick stuff and basically just got that round set of magnets and just clips straight on the back of your phone to align with those new magnets built in there for the Apple system. So pretty cool. Uh, they start from 20 bucks US up to about 50 bucks US depending on what one you want uh, and I'm sure they're going to bring out more and more and more as they go. So <clears throat> MoMA does a great job and so the quality is going to be really good. Same as Peak Design. Both startup guys that have done really well and progressed and make quality gear so you know it's going to be good and you're going to get that support as well because these guys are filmmakers as at their first hand as well um, so definitely worth go checking those out if you've got a new iphone 12 coming um, and as i said no case required for any of those stuff so you can get the case they've got them as well um, so yeah all sorts of happening on the cases definitely cool now, uh, Moose, or Mouse, Mouse I think it is, not Moose, <laughs> M-O-U-S, uh, the case guys, I've got one coming for my iPhone 12, they make the best cases, uh, it's pretty hard to beat them when they drop an uh, iPhone from space and it bounces and doesn't crack, uh, and iPhone's uh, notorious for cracking and doing that stuff, so they make the best cases, They're basically, they, you see them all the time, you would have seen them on uh, YouTube watching the show an ad from them throwing phones in the air and bouncing and nothing happens that's uh, mouse they do a really good job um, so I've got a case for them coming because I you're gonna spend two grand on a phone you want to make sure it's not gonna break in three four years that you own it now they've got a MacBook Pro and an iPad case coming so that's huge news um, and when they initially had one where he was dropping a, a MacBook from uh, a ladder and the sleeve, and I got in touch with him. I said, look, that's awesome. Uh, when are they coming out? And is there any chance they're going to be waterproof? Because that'd be really cool too. And I actually got a reply from the guys. We'll pass that on to the uh, oh, the, the technical guys, the guys that do all the developing. And last night, new ad out from showing the new version of the case and announcing the iPad one as well. And they announced waterproof. So I think... I don't want to, Brush off a bit here. 
got a funny feeling they might have listened to me, which is pretty amazing because most companies don't listen to you. So Mouse, if you are listening, thank you. That is awesome. I can't wait to order one because uh, you pay a fortune for your new uh, MacBook that's coming out and or even one of the, these bad boys is 16 inches. They're not cheap. That's uh, You could uh, build a small Swahili village uh, <laughs> with the price of these things nowadays to have something that's waterproof and solidly protected and if God knows whatever you do and accidentally drop it, know that there's a probably a 99% chance you're not going to be broke <laughs> or, or be out of a, a destroy your beautiful computer. So awesome. Uh, I'll keep you informed of when they do release. Um, hopefully they'll send me an email if it was my idea that got them onto the waterproof. That'd be good. Hopefully I can get one and test it because I'll be definitely, well, I don't want to drop my computer. <laughs> That's I'm very scared about. It. Even if I, even after you see it happen, you're like, Ugh, it'd be scary as hell dropping a bloody five grand computer. But um, yeah, look, great to see him make it, and I think it'd be very, very cool. So cool bananas. I will let you know about that one. And that's about it. Monday done and dusted. I will see you all again tomorrow. It's the last day before I fly home. So very, very cool. Not long now. Uh, have a great day for your Monday. If it's still Sunday where you are, Sunday evening, hope we'll get that one more glass of red in before you go to sleep. <laughs> Radio, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. So there we go on that way. Oh, nearly missed it. There you go on that way. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>